everyone and welcome to another vlog. It is another sunny Sunday and it is the 29th of April? 29th of March, I don't even know what month it is. We have just had a lazy morning, we have completed a puzzle, a thousand pieces, which was so fun, honestly, we have been obsessed and we've ordered two more, we got them off Amazon. Um, I know that a lot of people are ordering jigsaws right now, so they are quite hard to track down, but Gibson's have like their own shop on Amazon, which is where we ordered a few. But here is the finished puzzle. Look how pretty. So it's like a London scene and a rainbow, um, and it's just beautiful. It was so fun to do because of all the colors and everything. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, Sam is doing a washing up from our brunch. We've got a wash on. We did like a really thorough clean of the flat yesterday. I'm just editing last week's vlog, which you've probably already seen. Yeah, we did a really thorough clean of the flat yesterday. So it feels pretty beautiful right now. You know when you even like take out the cutlery and like clean out the cutlery drawer and like sounded the microwave and like things that you don't do every week. Um, but it feels extra clean, which is great. I don't know what this vlog is going to be yet. It's probably just a few snippets of our week. We are officially self-isolating for seven days from last Thursday as we have had mild symptoms of the virus, probably from Sam picking up at work in hospitals. Um, so yeah, a little bit later on I'm gonna like sit down and just kind of briefly explain and briefly talk about our symptoms because I guess it's important to spread awareness because they are quite mild. Um, we don't have like a crazy cough and we haven't had like with felt hot in the face or I have especially but we've not really had like a crazy fever and I'll get Sam to sit with me as well because he'll be better at explaining. <laughs> We've got a mindful chef parcel. Whoop whoop, let's see what's inside. Okay, what have we got? We have got roasted pepper lentils with olives and tender stone broccoli. So you get all the fresh ingredients in here, the uh, washing machine is on my face, about that. Um, so like the veg, um, just everything. And everything is like perfectly portioned. So they portion things up, so you don't really have to do like a lot of, well you do have to do the shopping, but these ones are 15 minute meals by the way, so they're like, they're quickest ones. And there's some more ingredients and things in there. And then the other one we've got is a fishy one. Number 12. Yeah, number 12. Crispy cod, sauce, vierge? I don't know how you say that. Vierge, yeah. Yeah, and spinach. I don't know what sauce vierge is. It looks like it's no. capers, garlic, spring onion. Cool. Um, and then they put the chilled ones in here, so I presume the fish will be in here. And it's always like, root, isn't like when we get chicken or beef or whatever, it's such good quality. Um, so I like getting the meaty ones. What's this? Um, it's a cod. Yeah, where's it from? Catch method, otter trawl. Interesting. It's from the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Excellent. And what's good. on it? <laughs> That's where a lot of cod's from. So yeah, we've got two meals for the week now. Lovely. Thank you very Thanks. much, Mindful Chef. It's a gifted, gifted... It's useful, especially at the moment. Box. Yeah, definitely. And they're doing 30% um, off for NHS staff. You just have to drop them an email. So go to their social media to check that out if you are an NHS worker and want to do some healthy, quick, fresh cooking. Lovely. <laughs> we've got the latest addition to our home gym. <laughs> Lovely. Can you do one? I, I don't know if it's because... We've not been well and we haven't exercised much, but I can usually do two wide grip pull-ups and then I used to be able to do loads of the other ones, but apparently Someone I haven't done anything. Oh, I could maybe try this one, couldn't I? Chin up. Just take my slippers off. Yeah. Oh, I can do one chin up. Oh, I can, I can do one and a half. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's good. Oh my God, that's tough. <laughs> I'm sick. No, I was going to hold your hand. <laughs> How is isolating with me? Same as always. <laughs> Sam is actually staying in with me and it's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I thought that we would just quickly talk about what our kind of COVID symptoms have been. Because they've been quite mild. Um, like we've not been like bed bound or anything. We've been feeling a bit crap, but we kind of feel better now, right? Like a little bit better. Um, but we thought we'd run through them in case like anyone's watching this and it helps them or whatever. Yeah, most people get a variety of symptoms and there's kind of, there doesn't seem to be like one size fits all for the type of symptoms that mm. everyone's going to get. Yeah, because I work in a hospital, I've, I've been exposed to quite a lot of people, 
patients over the last week or two that have, that have mm. turned out to have it. Sam works on a trauma ward, by the way, so he's not been working like specifically with COVID patients um, in like A and E or wherever. Um, not yet. Not yet. Well, no. I've been, I've been going down to A and E. I've been in A&E. resource and and those sorts of areas where there's been COVID patients, right? Yeah. Also been around patients who we've had in orthopedics that have had it. Yeah. So. Your consultant's been off a little bit ill as well, hasn't he? Yeah. He's yeah. developed symptoms like midweek. Yeah. Like fever and cough and stuff. Yeah. Um, I felt generally fine throughout the week, but then mm. on Thursday I started to get a bit of a headache and then Thursday night I completely lost my sense of smell. Yeah. That was the like turning point for us, wasn't it? Because I've been feeling crap all of last week. Like, like Sam said, like I had a constant headache and felt a little bit like achy and feverish and like just not just not right like hot in the face um like I'd, I'd feel okay and do a workout but then after that for the rest of the day I'd then be like really lightheaded and like, I don't know you know when you just don't feel right like I've kind of felt like I've had something um so I kept saying that to Sam but he felt like on the whole okay and then and also I've not had a cough or anything so it's, it's quite hard because obviously cough and high temperature are the two things they've been mainly saying um so we've not been seeing anyone apart from obviously Sam at work because everyone is distancing anyway. Um, but I was still going for walks and whatnot in Greenwich Park. Um, but yeah, when Sam lost his sense of smell, we were like, no, 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 you definitely can't go to work because yeah, that's quite a big sign now, isn't it? Losing your sense of smell. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. It seems yeah. a, bit, a bit odd and because a lot of other people who have had positive COVID tests have had the same symptom. It's kind of a growingly accepted symptom of it. Yeah. For me, it's not like I felt as too unwell to work. It's more just that mm. like I've got enough enough symptoms now that I feel like I probably have it, and it would be irresponsible to be back at work around patients and other colleagues who don't want to sort of pass it on. So yeah. So I basically have to have a week off from the from the moment the symptoms started. So that's Thursday to Thursday. I'm yeah, thinking. it's difficult to know like obviously exactly when you if if and when you've caught it and. They haven't yet done the testing for NHS staff, um, which I think they're actually bringing in this weekend and into the next week. So I don't know if Sam will la- now like miss that testing anyway. Um, but yeah, I think the smell thing is so bizarre because I was like, can you smell this candle? And it's so sickly and strong and Sam's aftershave, like coffee, bacon, like just absolutely nothing. But you can taste, can't you? I can taste. Yeah. It's just, this, yeah, but the taste isn't quite as strong because obviously some of your sense of taste comes from your smell as well. Yeah. But um, yeah, just all yeah. strong smells, it's really weird. Yeah, so I would say our symptoms have been headaches, quite like constant horrible headaches, and we've been taking paracetamol, not ibuprofen, because there's some like speculation as to whether that might make COVID symptoms worse or kind of hide some of them, the respiratory problems. It can, well, no one knows, but the yeah. advice is to avoid it in case it yeah. worsens your respiratory failure. But um, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I find paracetamol is not as good, so we've been quite like cranky with headaches. Um, like I said, I've been feeling a bit hot in the face. Um, you've had a bit of a cough, but nothing crazy. I wouldn't say that that's been a crazy symptom. Obviously, the no sense of smell for Sam. General, like, rundownness, feeling tired. And the other thing, which my friend pointed out today, is because I was telling her that my eyes have been really itchy, like, kind of the inner corners, like, just rubbing them, or needing to rub them loads and feeling, like, just a bit, like, allergic. And I take antihistamines anyway prescription ones so yeah that's been getting worse and apparently conjunctivitis slash red eyes is now quite a common symptom among patients um just an observation that's been made recently so yeah that might be a little telltale sign if you've got that as well and it seems like everyone manifests it differently yeah definitely if you have one of the key symptoms then it's quite an easy decision yeah if you don't then it's about deciding what your risk is who you're going to be around and, and what the risk of isolating versus not is. I think for most people, yeah. it's not worth taking the risk and spreading it around if you think you have symptoms. You've got to stay in, really. Only really for key workers, I think it can be a difficult yeah, decision. Yeah, definitely. And Sam would not stay off work lightly. Like, he Sam would really Sam would go to work if he had, like, glandular fever. Like, <laughs> like, if he literally fell on death's door, he would still not let his team down. So it's been quite a... A big decision for you, yeah. hasn't it? I've been I've been working for five years, five and a half years, yeah. since graduating, and I've never had a day off sick until now. I, really? No, That's crazy. And I feel like I could work if I had to, but, I, but it's not about. Yeah, me, it's it? not. No. So. Yeah. So this is our little message to stay home, stay safe, protect our NHS, save lives, and just keep well. I hope you are all doing well. It's obviously a really anxious uncertain, unsettling, overwhelming, scary time. 
um, and we're all kind of dealing with it up and down, a bit of a roller coaster of emotions. We've done a jigsaw puzzle. We have done a jigsaw puzzle, I showed you that earlier. It's bloody amazing, we've got two on the way. Um, and I'm going to hang up the washing now and finish editing the video. It's yeah. quite nice though, being told you have to do nothing for a few days. Yeah, you're right. Obviously I've got plenty of stuff to get on with once. Once we get into the week, I'll start doing some more work from home for a few days. Yeah. I always find it funny when people say they are bored already because, I don't know, I just always feel like there's so much to do. I guess YouTube is kind of like a hobby for me, so like if you film something, you then got to edit it, and then, you know, post it on Instagram, and like that keeps me quite busy as well as watching Netflix and having a bath and reading and spending quality time together. I don't think I've been bored for years. No. Um, I don't know. Sam never has lazy days off this, this is quite nice for like, you. As in, there's always something to do, there's always something yeah. you have to be doing, right? There is, yesterday we cleaned the flat, like I said. Um, so yeah, those are some ideas of how to isolate, do some baking. We made some brownies the other week, which were amazing. That's it from us. See you later. Yeah, we're going to make the heaters tonight, so we'll show you that. and Sam is serving the fajitas. I'm actually really full because I ate loads of cheesy nachos. Um, and we're watching Tiger King on Netflix, aren't we? Yeah. You're so tall. <laughs> Tiger King. I'm so short. Um, it's all right. Yeah, no, it's interesting. We're on to the bit. Actually, I won't spoil it if anyone's watching it. <laughs> it's like a documentary about crazy Americans. Yeah. Here are the fajitas. We've got like a barbecue chicken mixture. Um, I really don't like spicy food, do I? So it's always quite mild. Like barbecue one. It's about it's that. quite nice though. And then we've just got like some leftover guac from the nachos, sour cream, cheese, tiny bit of salsa left that I made, and lettuce and the wraps. Let's eat. Thank you, chef. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what, have you got? Oh. what are you doing? Puzzle. <laughs> And we are watching Mulan. Um, it is the evening now. Well, it's like gone five. I'm just cooking dinner. I've just done a day of work and our new puzzles arrived. So this is the one we're doing. Where's the ball? Show me the picture. Yeah, we're doing a French Riviera scene. And then we also have got this one, which is two 500 piece ones. Um, and it's like a little sunset sailing scene, which is cool. Um, and I'm cooking sausages tonight, and um, we have some potato wedges as well, um, and lots of veggies. We've got um, like green beans and tender stem in here, so it should be quite a comforting dinner, which is good. And yeah, it is now day four of yeah. isolation, Sam. We haven't been outside for four days, I think. Um, so yeah, keeping same slightly i did a little kettlebell workout today which felt really good i took it really slow and had lots of rest because i've been feeling like really lightheaded after working out which i guess is part of the virus um, and general rundown um, but it felt good to move hello 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 it is now thursday the second of april um i can't remember when we even last picked up the camera i was going to film a bit of each day but to be honest we've had some like crappy low feeling days or I've just been busy with work and other things so yes we are both feeling much better now though I think I mainly filmed Sunday didn't I um but our symptoms have basically gone we both had a really bad sleep last night actually which is really like unlike Sam like I often don't sleep that great but last night we were both just like tossing and turning all night so we feel a bit like gross today hence why I thought I'd put some makeup on and look a little bit more alive um, but yeah, updates. What have we watched? We've watched a bit more of Westworld. We started This Country on BBC, which is quite strange and funny. We've watched some Disney Plus. Um, we have completed another puzzle. Check that out. Look how amazing. This one was actually 
really really hard because of all of the flowers so it was a much more challenging than the last one it's a thousand pieces yeah we've decided to have a bit of a jigsaw break because sam goes back to work tomorrow um, and he's working all weekend it's meant to be really nice weather actually so hopefully i can sunbathe on the roof depending on how many people have the same idea and go for a walk and stuff um, I've been doing a few workouts this week. I did one this morning, which was quite sweaty. I joined in on a live workout. Um, I've actually done a blog post, by the way, on favorite like fitness YouTube videos that I follow along to. Um, so I will link that blog post below if you are not really sure where to start with home workouts. You can check that out and it also links to some of my videos and Instagram videos and stuff. So check that out if you are losing your workout motivation. I think it's so important to exercise and be active now. Um, but equally it's just as important to chill on the sofa too. But it's nice to do a bit of both. I think I might have a hot cross bun in a minute because we just bought some from m &S, which are the best hot cross buns. Our local one does not have the blueberry or apple or salted caramel ones which are obviously amazing. Um, so we just had to stick with their bog standard luxury ones um, and we also got the mini ones as well. I might freeze some for Easter weekend and oh my god I need to show you this as well. We also bought, um, well Sam didn't want to buy them but I was very excited. I got these new magnums. I think they're new. I'm pretty sure they are. These like, ra what are they called? Ruby raspberry magnums. They are white chocolate ice cream, raspberry swirl and ruby coverture chocolate for a new magnum chocolate experience and they sound amazing i love their kind of like normal raspberry magnums um and they were half price so they were like two pounds rather than four pounds which i thought was a friggin steal um so yeah i'm gonna have a hot bun and some cheese we're going to make some coffees in our mr and mrs mugs and we are going to finish this vlog with a fun quiz because you guys really liked the previous quiz we did, we're going to do this one super simple because we need to do a few other things today. Um, but we're going to just do, I was thinking of doing a friends quiz. So literally like pulling up friends trivia and seeing who is better at their friends knowledge. Because I just thought everyone loves a bit of friends, don't they? And every, well, pretty much everyone watches it or has watched it. So we're going to do that. Cheers. Lovely. What was it the Emma Bridgewater one? Yeah. My friend Danielle got them for us and I am obsessed. Okay, I hope the lighting is okay here. Um, we have found like a multiple choice friends trivia quiz, but we're gonna try them without reading out the multiple choice and then if the person's struggling, I'll give some hints. So we're gonna just answer five each and do 20 questions, so like two rounds, and then see who gets the most right. Okay. Are you ready? How do you know, does that tell you if you get it right or not? I don't know, but I, I mean, I, I've seen the first few that I'm asking you and I kind of know the answers anyway. So we'll, we'll find out, we'll figure it out. Okay. Okay, question number one. To get over Richard, what did Monica start making? Do you want to hear the options? Give me the options, yeah. Marmalade, jam, candy, or pancakes? Um, I feel like I know friends a lot better, so I feel a bit bad. Probably, I'm... there was that episode where she's the candy lady, so I'm going to go candy. Okay, that's, that's wrong. Oh. She makes candy when um, she's trying to please all the neighbours. She makes a jam. Halloween. She has a jam plan to get over her man. Okay, what was the name of the self-help book that the girls loved? Be your own windkeeper, be your own lightning bearer, be your own cleansing pool, be your own person. My mum's ringing me. Be your own wind bearer, final answer. Yeah, it is that, it's windkeeper, but I'm pretty sure it's that. So basically, it doesn't tell you the answers till the end, so we have to find out yeah. the end, but I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. A windkeeper. Yeah. Where was the aroma room? Phoebe's apartment, Monica's dollhouse, Phoebe's dollhouse, or Monica's apartment? Uh, I find these one so of the dollhouses. Definitely one of the dollhouses. Yeah. Uh, probably Monica's dollhouse. Phoebe didn't have a dollhouse, did she? Monica's dollhouse. I think that's wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> So had a dollhouse. Yeah, she made one and then she goes, and here's the aroma room, and then she like lights it and then it goes up in flames. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> My knowledge is just on point. That rings a bell now. Okay, two more. Where did Monica and Ross's parents jet off to for Thanksgiving? Oh, that's quite hard. Bahamas, Puerto Rico, Caribbean, or Riviera? I'm guessing it could be any of those. I don't think I'd actually, <laughs> I'm guessing it could be any. Puerto Rico? I don't actually know this one. Know. What do you want to go with? Yeah. Puerto Rico. Okay, let's put that in there. What was wrong with the couch 
Ross returned to the store. With Cone Heart. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first option. <laughs> or it was torn, it had a stain, the colour was wrong. Okay, so it was cut in half. Okay, do you five? want to take over yeah. for ten? For the okay. next five? Okay, so we'll tell you the answers at the end. Okay. I thought I thought you'd be able to see them as we went along, so plot twist. What was the name of Eddie's ex-girlfriend? Oh, that's a hard one. I don't even know who Eddie is. I do. Chandler's roommate, the really crazy one. Well, see your pals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see your pals. Him. Okay. Yeah, I think it's him. Um, what other names? Tina, Tanya, Tara, or Tilly. I think it's Tina. Go with Tina. Okay. Okay. How many long-stemmed roses did Ross send to Emily? It's for the amount of days that they've known each other or loved each other. What are the, what are the options? 100, 86, 52 or 72. Oh, this is hard. Your questions were easier. I knew all of your ones. Oh dear. That's hard because that's quite specific. He says for one for each day that I've known and loved her. Okay, so how many okay. days? Let's go for 72. Okay, next question. Yeah. What was Phoebe in charge of at Rachel's surprise party? Ice and cups. Cups and ice. Cups and ice, yeah. <laughs> for that. What was the name of the photographer who almost moved in with Chandler? Oh, what? What are the options? Eric, Mark, Eddie or David? Eric. Okay, and number 10. What was the name of Joey's stalker? These are all to do with names and stuff, they're so hard. There isn't it's a multiple a choice for this one, they just want the, you have to type it in. What? I know she was that female, wasn't she, that like licked his hands. Do you know her? No. Okay, put, just put anything in there. Okay. Okay. Those were hard, I think they are getting increasingly harder. Okay, number 11. Who did Phoebe think would have very hairy children? What are the options? Chandler and Monica, Chandler and Janice, Janice and Ross, Joey and Monica. Chandler and Janice? I think it's Janice and Ross, because they go on that one date, and uh, then really? she's like, they would have very hairy children, but it could be wrong. Okay. What did Peter Becker invent? Pete Becker, sorry. Moss 12, Moss 120, Moss 876, Moss 865. He's a millionaire, isn't He's he? He's like a computer system. Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, I would, ugh, that's, I, I think, think it's one of the three digit ones. I think it's maybe Moss 120, I don't know. I'm going for 865. Okay. Which of the girls did Joey mistakenly see in the shower? This is quite Monica, hard. So none of them, Rachel, Monica or Phoebe. It's the one where they all kind of end up seeing each other, isn't it? You think Monica? Yeah. That could, I think that's right. How many lasagnas did Monica make for her aunt? No idea. 12, 14, 13, 6. I think I know this. 14? Yeah. I think it might be 13, but let's go with 14. And then Joey like starts eating them, doesn't he? Okay, who fell in an open grave? Chandler, Phoebe, Joey or Ross? I'm just going with Ross, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to figure out who answered what here. <laughs> okay, last, <laughs> we'll last five. Okay. What heirloom did Phoebe inherit? A dollhouse, a puppy, a chair or a fur coat? A fur coat. What is the name of the beautiful woman that Chandler spots during Joey's musical? Amanda, Aurora, Anna or Amber? I can't even think of the episode, can you? Amanda rings a bell, but that could be someone else. Let's go with Amanda. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because of his fear of Eddie, where did Chandler start sleeping? In the bar? What are the options? His couch, Monica's couch, Ross's couch or the floor? Oh, Monica's couch. Okay. What is the name of the laundrette that girls use? Oh, that's hard. These are all quite early season ones, aren't they? So, suds and stuff, laundry room, clean it with a K, and laundorama. That's really hard. I feel like, do you ever actually see the the sign? Remember the episode where Rachel There's has to start doing her laundry? Rachel and Ross, is it the first one? And they're getting a fight with that lady. Yeah, is it the first suds one? Suds and stuff? Yeah. Let's go for that. Okay, and last question then. What does Rachel tell Ross he should name the cat he was buying with Julie? Oh. Michael, Paolo, Mark and Joshua. Oh, I don't know. That's really hard. I don't remember that bit. I remember the scene where, like, he's saying he's going to get a cat. Oh, what do you think? No idea. Let's go with Paolo, but I really don't remember that episode specifically. Should we just do the last five? Should I do them to you? Because you're probably more likely to get okay, them. Okay, fine. Next question is, 
Who plays the part of Phoebe's brother, Frank Jr., is the actor? Oh, I don't know. He's quite fat. I've seen him in stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm so bad with names of actors. Okay. Which company did Joey owe $1,100 to? The options are, I love Larite, I love Lucite, Lucy loves me, and Lucy's abode. What? Is anyone what, else which company this? Dodgy? Let's just go for the first one. Okay. What did Chandler get drunk on at Joey's birthday party? Jello shots or something? Jello shots is an option. Remember yeah, that? let's go with jello shots, yeah. What book did Joey keep in the freezer? Oh. Like it's not Little, little Women. Oh. Not little Women. Oh. Oh, The Shining? What are the options? There isn't. It's one you've typed. Oh. They give you a hint, which is it's two words, and it's a Stephen King novel. Stephen King? Is that The Shining? Could be. I don't know. Should we go for that? Yeah, there's, there's an episode where you're scared of the book. And then the final question, what did Joey eat for $50? Breast milk. So the options are a donut, a book, a bag of chips, a glass of fat. Oh, a glass of fat, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. That's not the one where they're all meant to be late. There, where they're all late for Ross's like thing. Okay, so yeah, the first one was jam, not candy. The be your own windkeeper was correct. I was right again. It was Phoebe's dollhouse for the aroma room, yeah, not Monica's dollhouse. Puerto okay. Rico was correct nice. for the parents on holiday. Cut in half for the sofa. This sofa is cut in half. It's a classic line. <laughs> it's a very good one. Um, okay, Eddie's ex girlfriend was Tilly, not Tina, so I got that wrong. Oh, That's hard. 72 that. red roses was correct. Nice. Um, cups and ice, obvs correct. Eric was his, um, the photographer, which was correct. Um, what was the name of Joey's stalker? The correct answer was Erica. Oh, I see, I answered Erica to a later one, but her stalker was Erica. Um. So I got that wrong. Um, what did Phoebe think would have very hairy children? These were yours again. Yeah, so I was correct. It was Janice and Ross. You said Chandler and Janice. Okay. Um, it's when they go on like that one random date. Moss 865, correct? For Good. Pete Becker's thing. Um, the sh Joey seeing Monica in the shower was correct. Nice. 12, 12. oh a dozen lasagnas okay fine so that okay. was wrong who found an open grave oh my god you got it right i thought it was chandler so you're all like no it's chandler oh i thought it was chandler you should be ashamed of yourself that's so funny that's three out of five again so who's winning how many did i get didn't count yours oh let's just do it at the end we'll do it at the end i got six out of ten we'll tell you at the end okay what heirloom did phoebe and harriet fur coat got that correct what is the name of the beautiful woman that jerry spots uh, that sorry that chandler spots aurora apparently i literally don't remember that episode Yep, Chandler sleeps on Monica's couch because he's scared of Eddie. The laundrette is called Laundorama. Um, oh, I've gotten so many of these wrong. And then the next one, the, she says to call the cat Michael, not Paolo. Okay, and then these are all mine as well, weren't they? Yeah. So the actor of Frank Jr. is Giovanni Ribisi. If anyone knew that, okay. you are on it. The company that Joey owes money to was I love Lucite, we put I love Larit. Um Chandler gets wrong with Jello Shots, that's correct. The Shining, I got it right. Well done. Was the book you put in the freezer. Sure. That's a good one because that wasn't even multiple choice. And oh! Interesting. He doesn't eat the glass of fat. He does, oh, but he doesn't no. pay for it. No, or... no, it's, it's Ross that drinks the glass of fat. Oh yeah. Because she was yeah. like, you know, he goes to, to do it, and then she was to like, you were going to drink the glass of fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh shit. He eats a book. Oh, okay. The, the quote is, remember the time you paid me $50 to eat that book. So basically, you never see him eat the book. So that's, uh, a, bit of a, okay. that's a bit of a trick question. Wow. But yeah, so we got 13 out of 25. I got 6 out of 10. That means you must have got 7 out of 15. Okay, but my ones were so you, hard. you did worse than me. No, they were hard. They were later on. I would have got that's all of yours 50%. right. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> oh dear, that's this so This is funny. your idea as well. That's a shame. Oh. Next time I'll pick the topic. Well, I was thinking of doing Game of Thrones because we have a trivia book, but I didn't think as many people watch that. Um, but yes, I hope you found that fun. I hope that you guys knew the answers at home. I think I might finish the vlog here, actually. Shall we? Yeah, keep it short. Keep Probably it short really and sweet. Yeah, I haven't edited it yet, so we will see. But I hope you enjoyed this second isolation type of vlog. If you haven't watched my previous video, then go check that out because it is a much more fun general knowledge quiz and I win. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Click the subscribe button for lots more content. Be sure to check out my other videos and follow me on Instagram. And we will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>